Grand Finals. And in the top right position, we have Koget as the Green Terran. And in the bottom left is the Yellow Protoss. We will have Dragon. Alright. Now, I will try to predict now, even though it's, you know, just for this, for this set. But I have to say that I favor Dragon a little bit. But I want Koget to win. So I'm a little bit like mixed feelings here. I don't know yeah. if to go with the heart or with the brain, you know? Yeah, um, I, I would also pick Dragon to win here, probably like 3-1. Uh, and I, I also kind of want Dragon to win just because I want to see Dragon ZBP against the Sockway. I think that would be an extremely <laughs> entertaining match to watch, an exciting oh. match. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna root for Dragon here, but I, I think it's it would be really awesome if Koget went through because uh, you know Koget I you know, he I think he participated in a couple of the uh, Legacy Cups, but before that he like he didn't play in actually I can't remember if he played in the, like the ISLs or not uh, before that or in any any of the other tournaments. Um, so he was he's been a bit more of a dark horse for me. I mean I know he's a he's a well known player. But just in terms of like recent activity, I, I don't. He hasn't been like super active on the scene, so I, I, I'd be quite interested to see him go far, especially as a Terran player. Well, I, I will tell you this: what I know is actually a, a proxy, like a, a middle barracks, just you know, because you can. Yeah. I think uh, a lot of people don't really know too much about Koget, but you have to remember something: he is in the you know net worst team, and that's the. the he has a lot of these Polish players that are really good, like Julia and, you know, well, actually, I don't know if Julia is in it, but like, all is there. So I'm pretty sure he has the skill. Yeah. He's not playing in the big uh, leagues. And obviously getting to the finals here is already a testament of that. But I've seen a lot of his games in the National Wars, and he understands a lot of different things that happen in this matchup. Like, for example, he knows when to starve your opponent or when that's not going to work. Yeah, yeah. And okay. that's a big thing when you're playing TVP. Now, <laughs> Electric Circuit, though, uh, I would always say that I favor the Protoss on this map. Uh, yeah, I... I... But I, I know that a lot of people say that uh, you have a lot of n narrow chokes, but overall, I would probably say that it's better for products. Um, I don't know how it is statistics wise. Uh, I'm one of those... I, I think it goes both ways because um, technically yes it's a really large open map but if you don't actually know understand the architecture... Wow nice catch on the problem. If you don't actually yeah. understand how the middle of the map works because there, there are actually a surprising number of narrow corridors that don't look like narrow corridors but because there's like a lot of empty space hold that thought. We have a, a bunker rush here <laughs> from... <laughs> from a Terra and a lot of probes sitting out here not fighting for some reason. They should not be waiting for this bunker to finish actually. He needs to go. Oh man. No, that the bunker was actually being Oh no. Oh man, this is gonna finish. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh, okay. Oh. Hello. The distance is nice, but you need range to get rid of that bunker. And if you look at Koget's main, Oh! Oh god. Oh god, are you serious? Are you serious, Koget? Are you Forella? <laughs> oh, okay, gas comes down now. Like, I, oh I was saying, where's your gas? Wow, he's actually going for the, uh, the range upgrade. He actually has enough money for range upgrade. I Actually, to be fair, I think that's kind of necessary here. He also probably needs a shield battery to not die. Oh no! No, don't fight that! Don't fight that! Yeah. Okay, so uh, Dra Dragon's got uh, six probes mining minerals and one get guy mining gas, and his opponent has like more SEVs than that. Let's just say. And the gateway is getting sieged. So. Oh. Yeah. Now this goon range is not gonna finish. Well, the actually. It'll finish before the gateway dies, but it's not going to have enough time to kill this because there's an SCV that's going to repair. I think... Uh... Is it going to finish? Oh god, this is so close. Because half of the Marines are shooting the pylon. Oh, now they're all shooting the gateway. Not anymore. That's, that's oh god! The thing. He's going to get one more goon! 
Yeah, he will get one return to the gate, but the expansion is now coming down from Koget, and as long as he can put a bunker and put some marines, he's already sending some marines back, so that's a very good move. Yeah, he actually, he knows he doesn't actually need to do any more damage. Like, he, he can't kill the Protoss with this, with his three range goons here, but he doesn't actually need to. He doesn't even need to, like, keep the contain going. He can actually, yeah, I was just gonna say, he can actually unload all these, or just leave, like, one marine to pretend the bunker is full, and just bring everyone else back, because it doesn't, it doesn't actually really matter anymore. He's pretty much already won at this point. Yeah. Wow. So, very first, very nice first move from Gogan. But to be honest, I think it was more a problem about Dragon not uh, understanding the situation. As long as you see that, you need to intercept the uh, your base. Yeah, uh, I'm not really sure what Dragon can do at this point. Look, the tank is probably gonna be like seconds after the Dragoons actually reach the base. I wonder if he can... Do you think he has time to like DT rush him now? <laughs> or like DT drop? You know what I would do if I was Dragon right now? Well, oh no, he okay, he doesn't have the probe count. I would actually double expand right now because it's like... Wait, does Dragon not know where he is? Why is he sending he goons to the corners? Oh my god. No idea. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, I just... Oh. And Siege is coming down, so... Yeah. Whew. Look, look, at, look, at this tri look at this double expand. He doesn't even care. Going one fact, double command center, just because he can. It's like, well, I killed him already. How can I make him more dead? <laughs> Three command centers to one nexus. That's what I'm talking about. Um, uh, to be Actually, okay, so... Uh, in a more serious note, I think this third command center is actually a really bad idea. Th because, th like, what's the point of getting a third command center when the Protoss doesn't even have his natural, right? The only way you can lose this game, pretty much, as a Terran right now, is if Protoss all ins you and kills you. And... Yeah, uh, I understand what you're saying, but... There is... I think there is no... Even if he would try something like that... Let's say that uh, Koget loses the bunker and all the tanks. He's just gonna pull SCVs, <laughs> and even if he loses half of them, he's still winning. He still, he still wins, right? So yeah, <laughs> I mean th that's kind of my my problem. That Dragon is thinking kind of the same thing as you say. Like, okay, I'm gonna add more gateways, and I'm probably gonna try to bust this. But how long is it gonna be until you can actually bust it? And I mean, I think they could DD drop. There's no turrets. There's no engineering bay. You know, like if he had gone. If he was going for the DT drop, instead of getting three gateways, like, the Temple Archives would be morphing right now, right? Would be warping it. And uh, there's still no engineering bay. I mean, there's commsats, but if you drop, you can just pick up the DTs in the shuttle when he scans. Uh, okay, but the problem is that Dragon doesn't know that Koget went for the second, uh, you know, command center. If he goes for the DTs and it's like a standard, you know, uh, fast uh, vultures with mines, and you don't have enough units to actually stop them, then... Even if you kill some SVs, even if you li even if you force a lift on all I, command centers. Yeah, I think I think Dragon's gonna just bulldog this. He's getting a shuttle, and <laughs> he's pumping three gate goons. He's not making a nexus, so he's gonna bulldog. But he needs one round of zealots, though. I think uh, he needs he needs four zealots in the shuttle to actually oh, make that the work. The scans, the scans just told everything. Yeah. To go. Nothing at the natural. Koget knows he just needs to not die right now. I'm actually a little... Is this just going to be an elevator? I'm actually disappointed there's not more zealots here. If there were more zealots, that'd be really fantastic. Mm. Uh, the thing is, as I mentioned, the problem for me is the SCVs. Really, I mean, you're going to keep producing from those factories. And... I don't know. I just don't feel like there is much that... Yeah, okay, Dragon is going to try to elevator. He's not going to get spotted by that depot, I think. Oh, no. Okay, he is spotted. And yes, indeed, there's the elevator, there's the Spine Depot, still building away. Um, but the tanks on the low ground is yeah. gonna, gonna be sad times. He can actually range one of these tanks. He can drop the Dragoons on them, oh. the there's more where that came from, so... Oh, wait! He's doing work! Now, see, I wish he had four zones. If he dropped four zones inside here, that'd be so good. And now the SCV's gonna come kill everything. And <laughs> GG! Okay. okay. Huh. Nice. We're gonna we're gonna be done in like an hour and a half today, guys. 
It's easy peasy. <laughs> not, not even an hour and a half by the looks of it. So, quick game one there in favor of Koget. Uh, I, I have to tell you one thing that this is actually quite important for me. I did play against uh, against Ko uh, Koget in the um, in on the qualifiers. Uh huh. And he did the same thing <laughs> to me. And I st but I managed to stop it because I, I knew that he had his broken thumb, so I was expecting something weird. Oh god. And I must scout it. It nice. was double racks, not just one racks, but nice. double racks. Nice. And I still lost, of course. Nice. <laughs> wow, you, you knew the oh. BBS was coming and you still lost. Sad times. Yep. <laughs> uh, Alright. Anyway. Uh, game number two. Let me host right. it up. We're going to be on Aztec this time. And let's see. Does it, isn't this uh, in favor of one of these races? I can't remember who, who it favors. This, I think this, this uh, at least Koget's style, I think it favors him heavily. Yeah. And the reason I say this is because when he was playing in National Wars, what he would usually do is make a push, and instead of trying to kill one of the bases or kill the production, he would just sever the connection between the bases mm. and set a very good game in the middle. And he would do it with... You remember the old styles where people used to put, like, depots and everything, like, right in the middle, so there's, like, your you bug out and attack wrong things? And he would do actually that. Yeah. So, if he plays that style, it's going to be quite difficult for uh, Dragon, I think. But Dragon is still a very good player, so he can definitely bring something up up his sleeve that Kogan doesn't expect. Yeah, actually, I think that style would be really good because, you know, my normal uh, comment about playing TVP on this map is how difficult it is to take another gas base, how open, you know, the low ground base is. But pretty much everything in the middle, like, most of the area in the middle of the map is buildable, right? So you can build, I mean, there is, I think, actually, I think there's a bit of unbuildable ground to limit what you can build around the low ground base, but there's a lot of space to build in the middle. And also there's a lot of space uh, at the bottom of the ramp between your third and your fourth, if you're taking the side bases as well. So if you do like the spam depots all over the place style, uh, I think that'll actually work out quite well. Yeah, so, mm. well, let's see. Uh, whether whether Koget's gonna make it 2-0 or Dragon can pull it back here in right. game number two. 